What do you think is going on here? Wonder, wonder why Benitez has not got the magic going so far. Because they started positively enough, as I say. Yeah. But now it's one win in seven. So that's a well, stat it, that's it, damning. It, it feels somewhat similar to Ancelotti's start to the season when everyone was full of, of optimism and brightness and, and then tails away. Now, let's, let's be clear. The only real result that I look at and think is a dreadful result was the absolute hiding they got handed by Watford. Because it was a capitulation. It was an absolute capitulation against Watford. And there was enough on that pitch from Everton players, talent-wise, to have not been beaten by a Watford side that got their head handed from the previous week by Liverpool. And I understand that they would have wanted to prove a point to Claudio Ranieri. But that notwithstanding, they were behind in that game, Watford. And yet they out-muscled, out-fought, out -fought, and out-energied um, Everton for the last 25 minutes of that game to such a level that Everton were all over the place. Yeah. yeah. So you, you expected a reaction from Everton in this next game, which is what he demanded, and you got very little in the first half from Everton. These are key components of a of a squad that obviously he knew he was inheriting, he knew what he was getting, he knew that they weren't going to give him lots of money because of the constraints that they've got around the losses that they are booking, and they're not insignificant losses either. we put them in the face of, of, of being able to sign players under the FFP rules for what they're worth. Well, this lack of investment in the summer, is that coming back to, well, to hunt he, he, them? Well, he, he knew the state of Everton when he took the job. He knew that they had compromises to be made. That's why they were sounding players for a million and a half and getting Andrews Townsend on a free transfer. You know, they got Damari Gray for, for a million and a half. But everybody felt that they were under the old space of a good manager. The, the noise will start to crank up about what he hasn't got because that's Rafa Benitez. But, but he's a good manager. I've never argued that he's a good manager. I've always argued that I don't like the way he back channels his owners. And to some extent, you can see why perhaps he did that at Newcastle, which is where my significant distaste comes from. But we're in a situation now where five of their key players aren't in the mix. But there's enough in that squad to be putting out a better performance. It's a really unfathomable and unacceptable answer, if it is indeed an answer or an observation, that you, you're leaving it on the training ground. That's the lightest form of observation that you can make about a footballer or a boxer or any sportsman that they leave it. It's an insult to say to somebody that they're leaving it in the gym because the worst fighters are the ones that leave it in the gym, i.e. they all look good in training. When they get on the pitch, they, they, they're, not, they're not where they need to be. Right. The intensity of a team, the focus of a team, the concentration of a team, the motivation of a team are absolutely the responsibility of a manager. It's the one thing that he can do for a team. He can't kick the ball. He can't make players make individual decisions at moments in time. What he can do is focus their minds to the intensity that they bring to bear. I see, That's so his I, job. see where, I see where you're going with that That's then. So no pass for that, but a pass for some of the injuries. Well, I think you've got to. Everybody has injuries. Everybody has a player's yeah. out at any one given time. And if you're suggesting to me that because they've got Dominic Calvert Lewin missing, that ultimately they should be blunt when you've got Richarlison to slot back in there, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't really follow that argument. But they're, they're, they've got 14 points out of 10 games. They've started against Watford. They were poor against Wolves. But prior to that, they were okay-ish. The Villa game wasn't a great game. United, they were okay in. You know, they got knocked out in the cup by QPR. And obviously that was dreadful for Mark Walkbutton because it gave him a congestion problem with QPR. <laughs> but but with that in mind, you know, what is it that we expected from Everton? They, the squad of players, you know, that that, um, that Carlo and Ancelotti assembled with players that clearly didn't want to be there, like James uh, Rodriguez, that now gone out the door. Yeah. You know, wasn't fit for purpose. Benitez has come back in. I, I don't think the backdrop should suddenly subsequently be now that Everton fans start turning on him because of his history, because he's a decent manager. And if he's a decent manager that's capable of working with Mashiri with the tools that he's got and making it work better than it currently is, I will continue to advocate the fact that he's a decent manager. If we get what we've seen before from Benitez, which is the snipping around the sides about what he's entitled to, how it should be, or how he's not being supported, then I'll be back on my high horse about what kind of fellow he is. Mm. But I don't look at it and say, Everton, what did we expect from Benitez? They're 10th in the league. They spent nothing in the summer. They've got a squad of players that probably isn't good enough. If they lose key components from the, that squad, they, they're not going to be able to compete. So where do we expect Everton to be? We probably expect them to be about 10th. So with the exception of Everton fans wanting more from their club and me wanting more for Everton because of my affection for Bill Kenwright and my affection for Everton as a football club, mm. what is it that we really should be guessing I at Everton? I don't think Everton fans out there listening expect to be 10th. Where do they expect to be then? Better than 10. On based upon what? Be because of the wealth of Mashiri, because of the investment Mashiri well, has, has well, made in the club. But that's historic, and he's got it wrong. 
and he's made mistakes. We, we, we've, we've done this conversation before. We've looked at the money that he's spent and said, has he spent it well? Well, I think the argument would be if you're spending £50 million on Gilfie Sigerson, mm. somebody somewhere along the line has repeatedly had your pants down. Yeah. And he spent it on a few players. He's had to backtrack since the mistake. But, but if, is it not about time that they move northwards and they start moving well, up that well, table? Yes. Well, of course it is. But if you look at the litany of mistakes that have been made, whether it was Martinez, whether it was Marco Silva, whether it was other people, whether it was Ancelotti that was coming on to take a project that nobody, well, I not nobody, I didn't think it was the right move for Ancelotti in terms of I didn't think his motivations were pure yeah. I think he came for a, fat, a great big fat paycheck at Everton and he certainly got it and the yeah. big op- opportunity came along and it was Real Madrid and off he went so you look at it and say well let's have a look at what's in front of them yeah you could argue that at this stage in the season should Brighton and Wolves be in front of them you well, could argue that but who else can you argue shouldn't be in front of them Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City West Ham are knocking it out of the park right now well, well, I, I think it out I, the park. well, you mentioned West Ham. That's a perfect example. I think a lot of Evertonians that are thinking this morning, why are we not doing what West Ham are doing? But, why are we not where West but, Ham but are? But that's a two and a half year project that David's been working on. It had one year in yeah, making... Yeah, has been in the door for a while, Simon. Yeah, but Mishiri, Everton Mishiri, loads of time Mishiri's to crank the owner up. And David Moyes is the manager. So we can't compare what Mashiri's aspirations are as a businessman for what's manifested itself in his dugout. But he wants to be where West Ham are. That's why he brought sure, in Ancelotti. But, he's, but, that, that's but what, he's a little bit buggered at the moment, isn't he, for want of a better expression, because he can't speak spend any money on acquiring more talent to be able to supplement the playing squad. Yeah. And you'll get so much from Anders Townsend. You'll get so much from Damari Gray. You'll get so much from certain players. I mean, Rondon isn't an exciting signing for Everton, is he? He's a reliable signing that he had previously at Newcastle. That's right. And he knows he can go to him as a backup striker. Well, whenever he goes, he goes with him. Because well, he's an honest player and he'll give Rafa Benitez what he wants. He knows in the dressing room you can get from him. But if you look in front of him, you look at the spend. Arsenal, who up until recently have stunk the place out, have now got their boots on, spent £150 million, best part of in the summer. Look at what's going on and look what he's competing against. So for them to be 10th, with the exception of Brighton and Wolves, and West Ham is a case that you put to one side because Moyes is doing absolutely unbelievably mm. right with that group of players, that talent pool and that ownership model. So with all that in mind, I'm not but sure where Everton... Look at, but look at Leicester. You can say that with Everton. That talent pool and the, the manager Who? that they've what got... What talent pool? They've got, they've got a bang average squad of players. Some of them are ageing. A lot of them they've overpaid for. They're heavily reliant on Dolan Calvert-Lewin for goals and he's not part of it. You know, they are they are a hodgepodge of four or five different managers' vision and none of those managers were good enough to do Everton the turn that they needed. So Everton are where you would expect them to be? No, not where I want them to be, but they're where I would expect them to be with the rebuild that Benitez has got to have, which is re-engender a culture of, of overcoming adversity based upon the tools that they've got yeah. and they're not at that stage yet he hasn't got his blueprint into these players minds he's saying that these in essence Jim he's saying these players are cheating because if they can give it on a training ground and they can't give it on match day it don't count on the training ground No, it counts for who he selects from the training ground but it doesn't count who wins football matches what, on the, the manager ground. They're cheating the club they're cheating themselves and they're cheating the manager if they can turn up in the training sessions and they can't turn up on match day why are they? Mm. That's no use. We can all be, be we can all be the best sparring partners That's in the boxing strong. world. You know, That's strong. You're happy with that? that they but, are cheating the club. But isn't he saying that? Isn't he saying that? Aren't I just taking it to the next level and saying, with an intensity on the training ground, what bleeding use is that? No, I agree. You're kidding me. I agree. You're kidding me that you're ready for it, so I pick you, and then you don't turn up. Are they Saturday. further away than ever from top four ambition? Well, they're not any nearer, are they? No, no. <laughs> yeah, just, just one point. It's an interesting one. When, when I switched on the sky last night, I was impressed at Carbert Lewin. Was in studio. I thought, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Standing beside uh, Jimmy yeah. Carragher. I bet, he's, I bet he's at the ground supporting his team. Well, there you go. Jim's a West Ham fan. He says, I want to get Simon's take on that. Calvert Loon in the studio last night when he's out injured. Is that a good loot or is that an issue of any sort? Uh, it's not a look I'd want because you want everybody together. You want the unit to be together. You want them to, to travel together, to be together, to be psychologically indexed to one another. And pontificating on the failings of your team or the successes of your team in a nice, comfortable, ill-informed Sky Studio isn't going to help him and his team. We never have seen that cracking suit, though, that Dominic Calvert-Loon was, was wearing. I didn't see it. Everton fans, do you have an issue with that? That he's in the television studios, the Sky Studios last night, the Monday night. Uh, maybe he should have been at Goodison, should he not? In amongst the squad, the squad of players. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, ten till one, on AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.